Naomi Holmgren's last moments on Earth captured on camera. There are those privileged to know when they will die. And there are those who have no idea when exactly the curtain will fall. When Naomi visited the United States to touch base with her one and only loving daughter. Little did she know that she was saying goodbye to her loved one. She traveled to the United States and she did meet her daughter as had been planned. What is more? She even celebrated her 65th birthday in the United States. It was an interesting experience that she must have enjoyed without the knowledge that it would be the last time she was meeting her daughter. Naomi's experience teaches us to be prepared for that last day when we could take that last breath. Those who knew Naomi also knew that all was not well because she has had some health issues for some time. Naomi is a beneficiary of the solidarity among Kenyans in Stockholm especially when it comes to bad and unpredictable moments. When she was unwell and in a very difficult situation, Naomi's real friends like Mr. Martin Nadia and his dear wife, Grace Nadia, were always at hand to help in any way possible. It is not therefore a surprise that one of the last people to talk to Naomi 24 hours before her lethal stroke was Mr. Nadia himself, the chairman of the Kenya Red Alliance. They organized a meeting that never happened. A key aspect of Naomi's life is that she never shied away from talking publicly about those who had helped her down the road of life. But that is just a passing comment about Naomi. If you ask anybody who knew Naomi about what he or she remembers about her, the most likely answer is that she was a person who loved three things. Prayer, preaching and encouraging people in whatever they were doing in their lives. Most importantly, Naomi was the type of person who would talk positively about people she called friends especially in their absence. Naomi will be remembered as a person who loved to preach the word of God and to encourage people. Every time the issue of prayer was posed in a meeting during a planned gathering, Naomi's name would be the first in the list. Interestingly, Naomi would abandon anything in her personal program to be present at a meeting as long as she had been requested to help with prayer. She never discriminated on ethnic, religious, sectarian or racial lines because she believed that humanity is the same. Just like everybody, Naomi had her difficult moments. But you could never know because she battled her wars quietly as she prioritized her mission of serving God. In fact, if there is heaven, Naomi is one person whose name must be on the list of entrants. This is because she was that person who strove to do good in the face of an unfair and evil world system. In celebrating Naomi's life on earth, and in remembering her following her sad demise, there is no doubt that those who knew her have a lot of things to learn about life. Naomi represented endurance, resilience, courage, faith, commitment to a course, the art of friendship, hope and the power of prayer. Naomi was a non-controversial person. She had her own worldview but, for the sake of unity, she chose silence other than contradict another person's worldview. Now that she is gone, who will be readily available to deliver prayers, even at short notice at Kenyan functions in Kenya Stockholm? Who will be the next storyteller, sometimes for hours without boring the audience? When did you last meet someone and the last word he or she left you with was for you to believe in God and read the Bible? Surely, Naomi has physically left us, but she has left us with an everlasting legacy. A legacy of trust, godliness, reliability, spirituality, lasting friendship, patience, holiness and hope in the life hereafter. She will be greatly missed by those who knew and loved her together with those who listened to her wisdom. Those she supported emotionally especially during difficult moments. If, upon arrival, the angels of heaven welcomes people at the holy airport of heaven, then Naomi must have received a grand welcome. As we mourn her on earth, she must be dining with the holy of hollies in heaven. That is why friends who knew her need to celebrate, not cry. She has gone to be with her maker. She was the person whom you could call, a person of God, and in the accepted sense of the word. 
Let those who knew Naomi celebrate her life, not with sadness, but with hope and expectation that there are still some good people in this evil world we live in. As a human being, Naomi may not have been perfect, but she represented positivism and encouragement in a world of negativity and hopelessness. Fare thee well Naomi. You have kept the faith and fought a good fight. Finally, may you be with that person you so much glorified, God the Almighty. As you retire to that mystic resting place, may your soul rest in eternal peace. Thanks for watching.